What's going on guys, Zombified Gamer here, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. We're doing temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Kara? I don't know, but we'll figure it out. Don't worry, Alice, we'll be fine. We can't get through, Kara. We both know that. I'll think of something. There's got to be a way out of this. We can't let them stop us. Not that we're so close. All that matters now is you and Alice. I can save you, Kara. No. No, we'll find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. You'll do what, exactly? your life to save us, Carl. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. To the toilet. My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. Invasive bastard. Jericho read on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there too. You'll be safe with him. Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Kara. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. And what about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. What's happening with Marcus? He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. I'm guessing there's nothing else I can do in here, so I've just got to go out and side again. I 
couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Next, please. ID? Is she all right? be scared anymore, little girl. There are no androids on this side of the border. Welcome to Canada. Interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. I guess the protest is all over now. Since they're just coming to put us down.
Tell them to stand down. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Guessing it's time to deal with the monitor now, then. Amanda? Amanda? What's. What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. And where would the emergency exit be, exactly? I wish it would move faster. Now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. 
Is this the back door? The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors and tomorrow we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now we are free. I mean, technically you're not free yet. They just said they're going to consider the possibility that you're a new species. They didn't say you're actually going to pass any laws yet. There's something I need to tell you. Oh god, what is it? As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? She's become a deviant. Sure, you can fuck off, I don't care. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. I guess I'll never see her on the screen anymore then. Oh well. Well that was my journey through this game. I highly recommend you pick up this game for yourself and carve your own story. Because there are many routes you can take. But for now I'm going to leave this series here. Leave a like and join watching. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye. <laughs> you ain't scared. Yeah. Fangs that go bump in the night. And you can't harm me Yeah, who do you, who do, bitch? Drink blood like a vampire without warning Who do you, who do, bitch? Stand up Hide your kids, grab your wife, better get out of sight